hi friends happy new year to you all welcome back to my channel if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for returning back here in 2023 to watch my videos i really appreciate much god bless you but if you're new here hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and when you subscribe click on that notification bell it is down there so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video i promise you you will always enjoy every content that i upload so dear friends i know some of you expected me to come with a success story as the first video of the year no guys yes i have success stories to share with you but today i'm not going to share with you a success story don't be disappointed because i have something very special for you guys so dear friends 2022 we know it has passed and you are still on online dating apps searching for love or some of you thought that you found love in 2022 later on came to find out that it did not work so right now it is the right time to sit down and ask yourself why didn't i find love on online dating apps in 2022 and i did everything i put enough efforts what can be the reason what made me fail because when you know what can be the problem or what you are doing wrong it helps you to do the right thing because we are aiming at finding love in 2023 you must find love this year 2023 so let's do the right thing let's know what is the problem so as this video is going to be do not do these things on online dating apps this year 2023 because if you do them that will be your failure also guys the things that i'm going to be discussing with you in today's video are the mistakes that most ladies committed on online dating apps last year i had to note them down to help you guys out so without wasting much of your time guys let us jump into this video <laughs> number one thing that you shouldn't do this year 2023 on online dating apps if you do it that will be your failure is do not chase a guy who ghosts you but before we go to a guy who ghosts you do not chase any guy on online dating apps yes we talked of you making that first approach to men on online dating apps if you are not receiving messages from guys but guys i told you that so that you can be noticed on online dating apps that's all if you make a first approach a guy responds to you and he shows interest towards you there is no need for you to keep initiating this guy let a man be a man don't chase a guy on online dating apps and i'm going to add even offline <laughs> never chase a guy plus don't chase a guy who ghosts you because sometimes yes a guy can make that first approach to you everything goes well you be like you are in a relationship and then after a month or two months after you have attached yourself emotionally this guy starts ghosting you there is no need for you to chase him if he is really interested in you he shouldn't even have ghosted you <laughs> so the right thing for you to do is to ignore this guy and move on with your life because if a guy ghosts you once he will keep doing it i've been getting lots of messages from ladies that are chatting with these guys on online dating apps and then they get ghosted you find a girl is there crying saying like what can i do bella even last time there is a girl i was talking to she told me that was chatting with a guy and then this guy ghosted her then five days to come it was a birthday of this guy so she was asking me bella he's not writing to me he has been quiet is it okay for me to send him a happy birthday message on his birthday <laughs> i told her girl why should you even send a happy birthday message to a guy who has ghosted you you don't mean anything to him that's the truth guys stop wasting your time on these guys if a guy is really interested in you he will never ghost you he won't act like he doesn't want to write to you you should be the one to be writing to him all the time no it is time for you guys to shine your eyes yes let a man be a man and if you do this guys 
trust me before this year ends you're gonna find the one thing number two you shouldn't do at all this year 2023 on online dating apps if you do it you will fail girl and i don't want that to happen <laughs> yeah that's why i am here so guys i talked of how to chat with a man on online dating apps especially if you are sending that first message <laughs> so i give you an example and as you all know is that i've been helping ladies on online dating apps i give you a chance to contact me on instagram you know so that we can talk what can be the problem concerning your profile concerning how you approach men on online dating apps so most of the times i ask you guys write me an example just draft that and tell me how do you send that first message i want to see exact words that you write to a man so last time there is a girl who sent me her first approach to a guy and it was so direct for a woman even if you make that first approach always remind yourself that you are a woman you have to take it slow so don't be so direct or don't talk in a way that a man could talk to you <laughs> i don't know if you understand me guys but maybe i give you a bit of an example so you send your first approach to a guy and then you are like hello i am jane from tanzania i am a single mother of three i work as a nurse you give all your personal details in that first message and then at the end you write i would like to get to know you more <laughs> that is very very wrong your first approach should be very brief and at the same time should be a message from a woman you can tell a guy i want to get to know you more let's get to know each other if you'll be interested after going through my online dating profile thank you another mistake you have been doing when it comes to that first approach i think most of you just look at the photos of the guy he is very cute and then you'll be like let me write that first message <laughs> without going through his profile dear ladies if you've been doing that it's time to stop first go through his online dating profile see what he has written and pick one or two words that you are going to include in your first approach your first message that you will send to him so that he knows you went through his profile that will tell him you are really serious another last tip concerning your first approach to a guy the first message that you're going to send to this guy please please don't send same same message to every guy like i told you go through his profile and from his profile you will get a unique message just for that guy <laughs> yeah so that's a little bit of a tip concerning that if you do that my dear beautiful ladies that is the way to success that is the way to find love in 2023 thing number three that you shouldn't do this year 2023 on online dating apps if you do that that will be your failure and that is why you find that i told you most people or most ladies last year 2022 thought that they found love but later on it did not work and this is one of the reasons it did not work never date a guy that is in his transitional period on online dating apps you are chatting with a guy and he tells you that he is still looking for a job or you are chatting with a guy he tells you that i am still living with my ex-wife but i am planning to move out and he wants you to start a relationship or you are chatting with a guy and then he tells you that he plans not to live in that country of his origin he wants to relocate let's say to africa or to asia or to the caribbean jamaica <laughs> as his retirement plan and he wants you to live with him in that country where he will be relocating 
when he retires guys stop lying to yourself it will not work if you remember i shared like two or three stories last year of ladies that decided to take a risk of dating men who didn't have work who were jobless if you remember samantha's story that italian guy was not working but promised her that he is in his transitional period he's gonna find a job if you remember noreen's story noreen was chatting with that guy and the guy told her that he is still looking for a job a guy in his 50s and noreen believed him she was like okay i'm going to do it for love decided to date that guy that was jobless but we see where it ended because at the moment this guy is jobless he will always be bringing that as an excuse on everything <laughs> when are we going to get married i need to first find a job when are you going to invite me i need to first have a job <laughs> So please, please never ever date a guy that is in his transitional period. And guys, with this, don't get me wrong. I don't mean that you date a guy that is rich. Date only rich guys. No, date a guy that is financially okay. A guy that is stable, not a guy that is still not sure of what he wants it's very very important and another bitter truth is that being in an interracial relationship especially if you are living in different continents it's not cheap it's very very expensive money is needed and if you're going to relocate to his country girl that guy should be financially okay because he will be the one to pay everything at first before you integrate in that country and then find a job help each other so this is very very important guys do not make this mistake in 2023 please please thing number four that you shouldn't do this year 2023 on online dating apps i told you when you're chatting with a guy on online dating apps he likes you you like him everything is okay it shouldn't exceed three months before you guys talk about meeting so when you start discussing about meeting i give you something like a secret that we're gonna use this year <laughs> because last year i used this trick to most ladies and it worked <laughs> yeah so when you talk of meeting listen to the guy what is his idea who is gonna visit who <laughs> okay if he suggests that he's gonna come then there right there tell the guy that why can't you invite me even if you are scared to go to his country visit him first because for you he is a stranger but this is just to test him and see what will be the response if he starts bringing excuses oh you know it's not easy oh you know it's very expensive oh you know they won't give you the visa it will take long without telling you let's give it a try and see if it doesn't work i'll be the one to come if it is only excuses girl know that that guy is only fantasizing on meeting you and it will never happen or he just wanna come take your goodies and then disappear so first test him if he tells you okay let's give it a try i'm gonna invite you after two or three days be like oh i think you should first come if you are scared to go meet him first but i think you shouldn't be scared because before you go visit a guy you should be very very sure you should create trust you should know this guy very well you should confirm everything that he tells you yeah that will put you on a safer side but we're gonna talk about that next if this guy invites you and you really wanna go so you talk and he tells you he wants to invite you like i told you to be in an interracial relationship you need to take risks but don't take risks 
while your eyes are closed no guys <laughs> don't be blinded by his sweet words don't be blinded by this guy is spoiling you sending you money and then from nowhere he tells you don't tell anyone travel and come to my country or he plans your trip and then pays for the hotel that means you're gonna be staying at the hotel and because you love him he has blinded you you don't ask this guy why at the hotel or you accept to go then stay at the hotel and never go to his house meet his family <laughs> then takes the goodies the trip ends you return to your country everything ends there no don't do that guys if this guy that you met on online dating apps has decided to invite you in his country and you decided to take a risk but after confirming everything after creating trust to this guy after talking to his parents everything is good 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 the next step is this guy should pay for your trip never pay for your trip to go visit a guy if this guy really loves you if he is really really serious with you then he's gonna put efforts and those efforts we see them when he pays for your trip no matter you are financially stable no matter you are an independent woman no do not pay for your trip please please because if you pay for your trip then this guy if you reach to his country he can do anything to you because after all he did not lose a penny on your trip so be very careful on that do not ignore this so let's imagine you are chatting to this guy you like him so much he likes you so much too and he really wants to invite you to his country but this guy let's take an example his origin is from switzerland but this guy works in germany so there you are like where am i going to visit this guy <laughs> should i go to switzerland or should i go to germany or you find a guy is telling you you will only come to germany because it is very difficult for me to take you to switzerland <laughs> girl in this kind of a situation because i know this situation exists if this guy really want to come clean to you that he doesn't have a wife should take you to both countries you should go visit his family in switzerland and you should go see where he lives where he works in germany because that is where his life is currently it is very very important because this guy might invite you to germany yes that's where he works but his country of origin is switzerland you find he has got a wife in switzerland how will you know if you did not go there visit both countries if he is ready to make you visit both countries switzerland and germany then this guy has got nothing to hide from you and his intentions are real please please do not ignore this thing number five that you shouldn't do this year 2023 on online dating apps guys block all those guys that sends you a morning message and a good night message then it ends there because in that case you will never ever create a relationship like that how will you get to know each other if a guy is like good morning sweetheart i wish you a wonderful day then good night honey i am going to bed ends there and then you are there in your fantasy world like i found the one he always checks on me no girl block that guy if a guy really wants a relationship with you he should put lots of efforts to communicate with you to get to know you more to ask you lots of questions about your life and you two should do the same that's how you guys create a relationship but those guys who asks your whatsapp number and then it is a morning and good night message block them and keep on searching please don't waste your time don't let any man on online dating apps waste your time number six there are these guys they will ask your whatsapp number you will exchange whatsapp number and then start communicating tells you that they really want to be with you they want to marry you they like you so so much but at the same time when you go to check on online dating apps 
these guys are still there you have been chatting with this guy for five months on whatsapp and he is planning to come visit you in your country but he is still active on online dating apps girl if you see that talk to this guy openly clearly ask him why is he still on online dating apps is it that he has not found the one yet or he is playing games with you you should ask him why is he still on online dating apps while you guys are planning to meet what's the meaning why is he coming to visit you so it is good for you to be clear with this guy tell him to delete his profile if this guy really likes you so much he wants to come so that you guys can be in a love relationship there is no need for him to keep on staying on online dating apps and you too should delete a dating app but that is if he is ready to do that if he tells you i am not ready to leave the dating apps dear sister block that guy because whatever he is telling you whatever he is promising you it is only a lie save your time dear sisters on online dating apps so to add something here i know some of you can be like bella when is the right time to delete a dating app because i don't want to delete my profile on online dating apps and later on come to find that that guy was only a liar was only playing mind games i'm telling you the right time to delete your dating app is when you are sure that the guy you are chatting with is the one you like him very very much he likes you very very much he has deleted his online dating profile and has shown you the actions of the things that he promised you when you see that in a man there is no need for you to keep your online dating profile just delete it avoid the distractions dedicate your time to that good guy but when you find yourself you are chatting with a guy you are not sure if he is the one or not it is only words you haven't seen actions there is no need for you to delete your online dating profile dear sister number that you shouldn't do this year 2023 if you do it that will be your failure on online dating apps and this has costed lots of ladies in 2022 oh my god there is a story I'm going to share with you next of a lady who lost her $20,000 car to a guy that she met on online dating apps. So before you make big decisions with a guy that you meet on online dating apps, no matter how much you love him, please, please always confirm whatever he tells you. Second, he should put a ring on it or get married to you before you make big decisions to this guy because i know before you marry someone you have to be very sure you can't just get married to someone blindly no so in that case after getting married you can make big decisions with this guy but also before making these big decisions ask advice it is very very important because people have got experience in these things maybe that guy is trying to manipulate you so that you can make that big decision take your time ask advice gather all important information needed for you to take that big decision it is very very important guys we see how Catherine was manipulated by diego and the mother never told anyone in her family that she's going to spain and even after arriving in spain they still manipulated her to ask for an asylum but did not ask advice from anyone she came to me when it was too late that was a very big and tough decision to make alone we see samantha i always mention samantha because her story guys taught us a lot she planned the whole trip took a loan but never asked advice from anyone that was a very very tough decision for her to make pay for her own trip we see how it ended also this story that i'm yet to tell you of a lady who lost her car just because of this guy that she met on online dating apps made a very big choice without asking advice from anyone so always ask advice always confirm always take your time before you decide lastly guys i want to talk 
of your character guys i've been chatting with lots of ladies but some ladies i met in 2022 the way they talk to me <laughs> without even me responding them in a bad way i was so down to earth with them but the way they responded if they go with that same same approach with men that they meet on online dating apps it will never work so guys please i know if you are on online dating apps maybe you were in other relationships before that failed so ask yourself why those relationships failed and if you suspect it might be due to your strong character you overreact about things please try to correct that because when you go with that overreacting character to a man on online dating apps no matter you have to be yourself no man will ever accept a lady with a bad attitude it will never help you so guys i have two examples of ladies that really surprised me last year because if they were able to talk to me like that someone that did not insult them someone that was very kind then i don't know guys so the first one actually is a tanzanian <laughs> she wrote to me was like oh my sister gave me the name of your channel i want you to connect me to a white guy so i told this lady look for me i don't do connection i don't know how many videos you watched of mine but i've been saying in my videos that i don't connect because the lady was forcing to pay me so that i can connect her to a white man i told her girl i will not steal your money like that i don't do connection but what i do i give advice and guidances on online dating apps even if you're offline I will still advise you but you have to pay for the membership so that i can give you advice and guidances through your whole journey of searching for the one do you know what this girl responded this girl was like no what kind of advice how many people have you helped <laughs> i have my sister she's married to a white guy she will advise me <laughs> i'm not going to pay any money i told her it's okay it's not that i am forcing you no girl so i tried to make her understand and i was like you know what don't worry <laughs> so she left and after two or three days returned wrote me a message wanted advice from me <laughs> was like bella i am ready to pay please advise me on this situation <laughs> but to tell you the truth guys so i was already hurt no matter she said she's gonna pay i did not help her i told her go talk to your sister she's gonna give you the best advice that you could need it stopped from there but what i'm telling you dear beautiful ladies with that attitude she will never find anyone dear ladies learn to be kind please please the second example or the second lady that really surprised me with her attitude she came on my instagram too and after introducing herself of where she lives listened to her was like wanted advice and guidances from me so i told her if you want personal advice and guidances on online dating apps you have to pay for the membership when she heard that guys the lady attacked me changed completely started telling me she is a christian someone who is a christian will never make people pay <laughs> no matter how i tried to explain to her that it takes lots of time to talk to her because guys if you're coming for an advice it's not that i advise you that day it ends there it is a continuation till you find the one and with this thing that i'm doing it's not that i give you limited time that i am going to talk to you for only 20 minutes no someone can come with her problem <laughs> you talk for two or three hours who will accept to lose her three hours for free in this world that we are living let's be honest guys so that is why i tried to explain to this lady that hey you have to pay for my time the lady was like no i'll never make anyone pay i don't know i'll never pay i don't know someone who is a christian how could you make people pay so i told her girl we are not fighting i think there is a misunderstanding you don't understand me it's okay so i left it like that she went and i think she was like oh my god i overreacted to bella 
<laughs> returned i was like bella i am so sorry you know i sat down i was like no i overreacted because the way you talk to me you were so kind very humble with me i don't know what came over me i overreacted i am ready to pay just tell me how can i pay that is why i'm telling you guys your attitude can be the problem and because i don't know you all guys <laughs> sit down you know yourself if you think your attitude is the problem please try to change that so that you can find love this year 2023 thank you so much guys for watching this video till now i really appreciate you much for watching till the end god bless you and please if you've liked this video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends family everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something comment below what you think about this video watch my other videos too they are super good please if you have not subscribed what are you waiting for join the family and thank you for subscribing i love you so much guys you are always here in my heart let us meet in my next video ciao ciao Mwah.